Hello, this is Paltrifier, and today's video is going to be Bleed Rue. So, it has been a hot minute since I have played uh, Bleed Rue. I haven't recorded it a run with Bleed Rue since um, the most recent patch, where obviously a lot of stuff got nerfed. Uh, the deck is still good. I just need to double check myself. So, there are a few nerfs that the deck picked up. Um... One of the nerfs is that, um, so Bloody, or Absorbed Demise, I believe, got nerfed, the, I believe was this patch, it used heal three, uh, and now it heals two, and the upgrade is, uh, the upgrade is four, and so yeah, it's two and four instead of three and five, uh, relatively minor. Uh, Bloody Focus didn't change, uh, Focus didn't change, straight, Tricky Focus didn't change, but Serrated Shivs do. They do more base damage, but they now cost a mana, which is a pretty big downside. Uh, Putrid Idea. Now costs a mana instead of being zero. Uh, and so the net result is that the deck is more mana intensive than it used to be. By a decent margin. Uh, Barb Gale triggers bleed before it applies bleed, which is, I think, of the nerfs, by far the least impactful. So I think the starting deck is probably fine as is. Um, there's definitely an argument you made for like you're already pretty high on mana. I think I, I may have already adjusted this deck slightly to account for things. Uh, we are already you know we're at six mana cards. Um, I could definitely an argument for swapping a rummage for a second putrid idea that does put us at a pretty big deficit on health initially though, which I don't know that I want to deal with. Um, so I think this deck so. Blood Offering is funny, but I, it's pretty much always bad. I think I want Royal Coffers. Um, I think I want... I mean, Benevolent Totem is fine. Just slightly awkward because it's like... Not really what I'm here to do, mostly. So, cards that I want to get in here include... Legendary Strike. Uh, Legendary Strike and Decreasing Man are kind of the two big ones. I think, hmm, but it just comes down to, do I think Benevolent Totem is worth keeping? I think. Sanctity is such a good neutral card, but we probably don't need a, a Legendary Strike. And we just have to make sure we have enough card draw. Yeah. So, Secret Cache, eh. I don't think I'm a huge, the hugest fan of that. Uh, Mind Sap will keep. Uh, Pernicious Totem is now actually great, because it does a lot of the same things that we want to be doing. Uh, Irritating Dust is fine. Favorus is good. Surprise Attack is still okay. Uh, I could definitely see an argument for cutting, like, the focus of the bloody focus for something else. I just need to think about what I would take instead. Uh, we don't want to take another Reckless Chase, but there are situations where we will. Uh, yeah, we have a decent amount of card draw here. Barb or Treasure Map is now actually good. So... Uh, Mandible is pretty much always great in Rue, so probably want that. Probably would like that more than... Probably more than the Focus. I'm trying to think if there are any other of the newly added cards that I would want. I think Battle Glory... I don't know that we can consistently trip Battle Glory in this deck. Um... Last Resort could be good. I don't know. It's a, I think we're going to just go with this for now. Um, all right, so we're not doing Rush. All right, there. So we have Endurance, which is nice. Uh, emptiness is annoying. Uh, but we'll try and power through. Hunger is also very annoying. But all idols are annoying to some extent. Going to go to these areas because they have cards that we want. We're going to go... All right, we've actually already got everything squared away. Trying to think there's anything else I would do. So we are fighting Bay later, which tends to be pretty easy with this character. I'll go ahead and buy Dancing Blade. Why not? Uh, several other things of varying value to us. Oh, I should have checked what uh, idols we're dealing with. Oh, man. Haunted Flask is an amazing thing to just see right off the bat for Rue. Okay. Um... 
We have an elemental prowess that we can get. We are guaranteed one um, Binta card, which is nice. I think the Binta card is easily worth um, going this route for. Because both the Binta cards are great. Uh, we don't really care about either of the Sligay card. Any well, you know, the Susan's not terrible. Um, but mostly we're saving our reroll for the elemental prowess. Okay. Hmm. Coach Pinos, what do we play here? I think we get rid of a bloody focus. So our initial problem here is just this jerk. But I've got a plan. Um, so that's going to draw us mana. Goodbye. Okay. Off to a very rude start. Demonic Reed is great. That is a lot of bleed procs. Um, here we go. Which is the other thing about like, I don't shouldn't spend too much time thinking about like, what uh, what I'm called. I want to burn because there's not going to be a turn two. I think there's any point in playing. Oh, oops! I meant to play. I meant to discard the uh, reckless chase. It's not going to be a big deal because we have super lethal here. Just play any two cards. There we go. Nice and easy. I will absolutely take a verminous assault. Um, that can help a strip of eight, uh, purity, but it's only one rank. I think the evasion three this turn, especially going into, hmm, yeah, I think that's the one we want. All right, so we have to deal with purity again here. Two ranks each. Oh, right. It was one rank each the first time because of um, that one thing. Let's see what we get out of this. Card draw. It's a little awkward, but we still have it because we're playing a fair character who does fair things fairly. Honestly, I kind of would just take a second demonic read, I think. It's very good. Absolutely, we'll take an upgrade. Demon Greed Plus is, uh, is amazing. I think Absorb Demise Plus, though, is where we, we're at. Just, like, the ability to... Because um, we can draw that a bunch of times, which is usually pretty good. The one thing that Demonic Greed can't, doesn't do a great job of doing for us is um, getting through Purity, unfortunately. There's one downside. However... Honestly, there's a decent argument to be made that we want um, that one thing, uh, pocket shield, purely for the utility and letting us deal with uh, this. All right, I'm gonna use this to strip purity off. Oh, we got bleed because we didn't have any room to put. Mm. I wasn't thinking about that. Mm. 
Hmm. Well, my original plan was to do this. Actually, I have to do that. Really hoping that uh, Puri, uh, oh, that if he just doesn't decide to just spam, oh, there we go. Naturally. This is why I shouldn't actually say things out loud. You need to go by first. <sighs> hmm. So the only thing is, if I kill you with this, this doesn't actually work out the way I want it to. So instead, we're going to do this. I'm going to strip of purity. Unfortunately, we just kind of are stuck taking a turn here. So they continue to be kind of a nightmare. All right, get frozen. So I have one pure deal. So we're not playing both of them, most likely. I'm going to play this and hope that we find mana. All right, got mana. Hmm. Should just get that out. And let's go and get evasion here. Unsurprisingly, this league fight is going poorly. I think that's just this league fight in a nutshell. Because it's just bad for us for a couple reasons. Um. Especially when it's like augmented by purity. Card draws nice. It'd be nice if I could find that. Yeah. Hmm. He's gonna put bleed on us, but decent chance this ends up being one of the hardest fights in the entire run, especially if you look just looking at uh, in terms of turn count. Hmm. That's nine times. Yeah, that's not enough damage. Mm. I think this berserk's not active here, so Now we actually get to play this with bleed active. Which is where it shines. Okay. That's actually not bad. Because it's cheap card draw. And like the growth, if we do end up having a bad day, is good. It's not the thing I want most, which would be, I think, uh, Forbidden Rights. But I think it's better... Well, hmm... I think that's the best of the options that was available. Let me take that for the fact that it can somewhat deal with purity. I think we're going to upgrade. Kind of to upgrade a mana here. I definitely think Vantage is like one of our issues. Like going up to bleed five is nice, but. Turgon play twice is that relevant? 
This goes up to like seven blade. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's also a very good upgrade consideration. I think we're gonna go with demon grade. But that's absolutely uh, an arguable choice. I think we cut one of the rummages. The life of our discard synergy come out of the fact that we picked up a little more card draw, I think. Makes the rummage lower value than I might normally consider it. Fortunately, there's no idols active here, so. Cool. Let's go. Man, that's nice. Means that it's possible for us to critical on on bleed on this guy. And yeah, that's more like it. Hmm. So this is good if we can consistently get five bleed out, which is a little tricky right now. I think. I'm inclined to take the Mind Sap because I think it does the most for where our current situation is. So this fight... Excuse me, I don't actually know that um, we get that much actual value out of... Uh, whatchamacallit? Okay, just going to take out security on you. I'll do that because I don't think we're going to get another turn after this one. Fortunately, in A1, the Binto only applies one bleed. Unfortunately, that purity is really annoying. This is where, like, getting a pernicious tone would be really nice. Yeah, so the question here becomes, do I just take this or do I re-roll? Mm, surprise attack actually strips purity AoE, which I think makes that worth it. That's incredible. Very happy to see it. I think we're just going to go for the moment. Sure. I'm too lazy to bother remembering what the uh, options are there. Value. Alright. 
Oh, we can actually just guarantee crits on this. No, which is pretty okay. And there we go. Okay, so unfortunately, uh, Berserk is a jerk. I think this is actually the first Berserk fight we've had this uh, thing. So our mana is root, but it's not a huge concern. Hopefully we should be able to take this out, because... Um, there we go. Oh man, right, we get, oh man, this is a tough choice. Forbidden Rights is so good at fixing our problems, but against the Swarm is also amazing. I think I want Forbidden Rights just because it's so good. Uh, extra crit damage, crit chance is amazing. Um, continue to upgrade Demonic Reads, seems okay. Although at this point, I guess I'm kind of inclined to start upgrading Barbed Gales. The Rummage feels pretty extraneous, although, Hmm. I don't really want to be card card draws the problem. You know what? It'll be fine. We're moving on. So this area, uh, we're looking for an elite sp fight that didn't spawn. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, kind of inclined to go here to force out Void Quake, although um, it's taking an extra fight that we don't have to take and giving up this elite, and this elite drops amazing cards. So we're just going to go that way. Uh, between these two, this fight has a chance of just being really obnoxious uh, between all the stuff. Crystal Infection here is okay. Uh, the big thing is, like, if we don't win this fight turn one, this guy starts being a major pain in the butt. And I'm lazy, so. Draw some cards. Awesome. More card draw? Absolutely. Don't mind if I do. And that's what I was looking for. Because oh. now, guaranteed crits here. Did we end up trading up? No, we didn't. Okay, yeah. So we actually have more than your increase. We have 110 crit chance. We even get like bonus damage. Oh. All right, everything working out. This isn't the most amazing thing. It basically just pretending it to cleanse purity, which isn't the worst. I think contemplates better. Okay, this is going to be a harder fight, theoretically, because we do have to deal with, at minimum, we have to let them get a turn, which I think is unfair. I don't see why enemies should ever, why we should be forced to let enemies take turns. Okay. like a barbed gale. Stirred. 
Oh, right, after we kill them, we get more treasures. That's for the other turn. I was like, we have way more treasures than I was expecting. All right, and we have plenty of evasion, so... They try. Treasure map is great. All right, uh, it's like it's unhappy. We're going to inspect it closer. Pull while healing it. Uh, we don't actually care about that. This is bad for us. There are decks where this is amazing, of course, but this is not one of them. Just take a little bit of max health, max health, max recoverable. It's not super useful, but it's not terrible. It doesn't actively hurt us or anything. crits on you. And uh Watch my wallet is not active this time. Just do that to you because we can. And yeah, just bleed a doing bleed a things. Like I said, that's the gay fight. Gonna be one of the hardest fights. I do not remember if Purity is active in the last area, but Pernicious Totem is crazy helpful. It does mean giving up both the cards we could get here, but Pernicious Totem is one of the cards that I kind of am most hoping to see, so I'm going to make that sacrifice. This makes the rubbish a lot better, but I don't... I'm just upgrade the barb kill. Because that makes the next Sanguinate more possible to take. Um... So the poison does start out pretty underwhelming from this, but as we stack up powerful, the amount of poison we generate was gonna go up. So that's part of our trick here. Right. Hoping to see you draw. Yep. Cause yeah, he's like, now we're getting four poison because we have that much powerful. We don't actually care about the Sony now. Decent chance I end up cutting it. All right, we have to deal with Berserk. Grab more evasion. It's not going to do anything for us. Basically, it just comes down to whether or not they have enough uh, status to do the uh, explosion on turn one. I don't think they do. They do not. And so they go away. Bye. All right. Aerial strategy is pretty good. Um, cloudy covers is risky. It's very good, but it's very risky. I think we'd rather see. I'm actually, I think, willing to reroll here uh, to try and get that because that card is just. Ridiculously amazing. Uh, this is funny. I tend to like it. Which boss are we fighting? Okay, we're going to take this. So, the thing I was checking is if we're fighting Guardians, I might take the ability to evade statuses. Uh, just because there's um, an initial case that ends up being critical to our survival. I'm going to take it over this. Uh, it's a little questionable. God, I'm pretty this always feels like cheating. Um, this upgrade shouldn't be this good. I should cut something. I'm so bad at planning. It just feels like we want everything. Ah, uh, we can get one of the demonic reads probably. I think with the other stuff, like we don't necessarily need the second one. I reserve the right to like pick up another one later. So we're taking this fight again, just like to potentially get another like. Foggy darkness is very good. 
We don't even care that much about hidden. Because we're not doing that much actual attacking. Think about these other cards, though. But I think this is worth it. So actually gonna get to play the treasure map here, it looks like, most likely. It's just zero mana for two treasures, which is why it's better than uh, the other thing. Let's go ahead and draw some cards. All right. Killing these guys is great. We just get bonus value out of it. Bye. Yeah. Hmm. So we're gonna start with this. I should start. With, oh, it's fine. So right now, I want to get enough mana out to do this. There we go. That'll do. Berserk is active here, so that is theoretically a concern. However, we are going to have enough evasion that we don't care. So we just have to kill this guy, which we have done. And at this point, the damage is relevant. Thank you for playing. Um, another Contemplate. Venom Dagger, yeah, I'll take it. It does theoretically help us strip, I should have considered taking the mana. I, I like having the ability to strip purity, because uh, again, I did not think to check what our next area is. Um, so two purity deal with, oh no, two whole purity. One of them. They'll deal with the other one. We really hope we see card out of these, but we do have quite a few shot shots at it. Yeah. Oh, let's get uh, the guaranteed crits. We're okay discarding that because we don't actually care about it. We do actually need to find a way to kill this though. Just kidding, it's fine. Could be without overkilling. Alright. Tough fight. But we somehow figured it out. Give me a second. Alright. Um cleansing self is lame. Uh, Elemental classes don't do a ton for us, but, you know, we'll take it. It is okay with the treasures. Uh, speaking of treasures, I mean, we're not here to not do it. I know that we can afford to upgrade it, though. I have no clue how we afford to play Royal Coffers, instead of, like, just upgrading Forbidden Rights. And we're just going to upgrade treasure map. And we're going to cut nothing. The rummage. The worst of our card draw. Because it's net neutral on cards. 
All right, so we don't have to deal with emptiness here, which is nice. That may make the pernicious. Well, pernicious stone is still not bad. Uh, going here, picking up corrupted fawn is good. We can go through here and get like uh, dark focus, but I just prefer to just skip all the fights. Unless I have a very good reason to do the fights. So here this goes. Here this goes. So now we get... Look, Ma, I'm Myrtley. Get rid of that. Kind of tempted to keep digging, but I... Yeah, it's worth digging, I think. All right, there we go. Now we can play this for maximum value. By which I mean, look at all those treasure upgrades. Very important that we did that. We were on the verge of everything falling apart until I made that very clever play. Look how close that fight was. We almost lost, but I persevered. I found a way through. <sighs> Reckless Change is the worst summon, but I kind of want another summon card. I think I take it. Oh man, we're just uh, cheating. That's the word, we're cheating. Um, which is the great thing about Rose, that you just sometimes get the, the option to cheat. And you take it, and then you're cheating. Uh, this is actually probably good, because we only have the two multi-hit strikes, and we get a lot of shifts. This makes the shift quite a bit stronger. All right, we'll take an upgrade. Uh, we're going to spend it on Permanent Assault. Uh, there's no reason to fight a Prowler here, so we're not going to. Curious me though, I may have one of the Venom to help me get through the Purity on Bay later. Right, I need to cut the rest because we don't care. Give me a second, I need to read what one day is typed up. Alright. <clears throat> Discussing Katon changes. My boy is getting a slight rework, so that's exciting. I'm excited. You don't have to be excited, but, you know, you could be if you want it. Right, let's go and get critical setup. I forgot that that uh, is just going to target whatever. Completely reasonable. Oh, right. The hidden gives us a hundred percent crit chance on everyone. So until we play another damaging card, God, I forgot about that aspect of things. That until we play a damaging card, we just get these guaranteed crits, and it's beautiful because uh, with the lethal, and the, it's it's so good. Is the point? It's just so good. Cloudy covers isn't like it is good, but risky a bit. I'm kind of less inclined to take a damaging card now. Uh, because other things interact. I honestly would take a second Lurk in Shadows. It's very good. Alright, um, pitch that. Alright, so we're gonna Lurk. I should have done this first. That was not very smart of me. So much wasted potential. All right. 
And this is going to be beautiful. This is going to draw us a bunch of cards. God, we're doing fair things. I love playing fair games fairly. Some people are like, Bleeder is dead. Those people have no clue what they're talking about. I can't hold all these cards! Bye! Absolutely, we'll take a second, Forbidden Rights. Uh, pass, pass, pass. Upgrade. Uh, the other Lurking Shadows. Yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, we'll upgrade Lurking Shadows. We're going to cut the um, Stony Nap. Yes, it removes itself on play, but that only is relevant if we play a second turn. All right, time for all you guys to die. Hope you enjoyed uh, being alive. Well, this is unfortunate. It's very awkward indeed. Let's make some space for summons. Hmm. Trying to figure out how I play this out most effectively. Guess I'm going to do that, as weird as that is. Beautiful. Everyone gets even more shocked. I need a lot of mana for this. Yep, draws good. Sure. We'll summon more friends. Yeah, our problem is we just can't hold all these cards. It's a known issue. Don't mind me just over here doing fair things. Goodbye. Uh, Take that. Oh, man, I, I was clicking too fast. That gushing wounds would have been amazing. I just goofed. Uh, Irrelevant. All this is relevant. We don't have any spells, I think. Oh, okay. We have a spell. Frozen's relevant. Nothing's going to matter. Get that out first. Ambush on you. Get those guaranteed crits. Trip the bleed. And then those two die, we've full. A Lamau dummies. God, do you remember when we were at the first? Mid, like if I did editing this road, like I would, I put in a clip of like the first midwives. Be like, oh, remember when, uh, when life contains challenges? We have evolved beyond such primitive things. Nice card draw, please. Oh, I guess we're holding some card draw. Sure, more powerful. Why not? That'll do. Because we just need a way to kill this now. Bye. 
We're at full health. Nothing matters. Thank you for playing. Your service will no longer be needed. I don't actually know that we can beat CPU. Uh, like, we're doing nonsense, but CPU tends to be good at countering nonsense. I mean, we may give the Guild College a try. Just, just kiz. If it shows up, which it may not. See, that doesn't actually do that much for us. It seems like it should be crazy, but I don't think it matters. I'm curious if this works with uh, with Bleed. Like, if it did, that would be just ludicrous, but I don't care enough to tell. Well, we don't care that much. Sure. I Just out of curiosity. Uh, you can't have our sticky flask. You're getting too much value out of it. All right, so we have evasion buff. Uh, but I want to keep all of these. All right. So here's the plan. This is going to strip off all of the debuff. So the first one here is kind of a waste. But the important thing is, that's all of your purity gone. Bucko. I made a terrible mistake. I need that guy to die. Before I play that. I mean... That'll do. God, imagine being the sort of clown who thinks that the bleed deck is dead. The answer, by the way, is no. Um, you do not get... Which I think makes sense, uh, but it is a little disappointing. I wanted to do even more. I, I'm disappointed by how fair this run ended up being, you know? Like, we have to let this guy take a turn. A turn for the worse! Sorry. Uh, there we go. We don't have to let him take a turn. Problem solved. Do you know that some people think that this deck was nerfed? Morons. Lamau deck still busted. Like, obviously this was a pretty high roll run. Um, but... Jesus Christ. Like, obviously, like... And you kind of saw that we're like, area one was a little rough. But once we got rolling, everything just went off the rails hard um and we didn't even have all of the like we had to pass up the against the swarm because we decided we wanted the first forbidden rights more and i think that was all, like forbidden rights did great work for us uh we didn't get any infested rights we didn't get um forbidden knowledge so like there are amazing cards we didn't see uh the vindictive spirits in area two like there are amazing cards that we didn't have uh, like, this isn't even the highest of rolls. Like, we had one card, Dog Trinket. Um, we did get, like... Like, this isn't that relevant, actually. Um, but And we didn't have to fight uh, Ipetus in Area 3, in Area 2 or 3, which obviously helped. But, yeah, this is a completely busted deck, and anyone who tells you otherwise is lying. That's going to be it for this run. I will see you next time. Until then, toodles.